Hey guys, Kevin here with your KevCam tip of the day. So this is just a uh, kind of a second part series to a video I did the other day uh, with you guys of the proper ways to close out the file. Now it came up that there were some questions on uh, what's the temporary file and what is to compress. So I just want to kind of go over this with you guys today. So right here you'll see that I'm getting this ambiguous part um, versions here. So what this means is solid cam didn't properly get closed down or SolidWorks didn't properly get closed down or something happened behind the scenes. So if you guys are actually using the PRZ in your solid cam settings, um, you will get this error that pops up. So what this is saying is we have a temporary folder set up and that's going to actually be in your C users, um, whoever you're logged in under, uh, app data, local, solid cam temporary files and it will be temporary saved in there now if you guys go down to this one right here and this is going to be the most current one and this is the one that i would tell you guys to do 100 percent of the time um, now this one is going to be we can open up the compressed cam file from the lo the location that you specified when you guys saved it and it's going to uh, revert back to the last time it was properly saved so you may lose a little bit of work if you do with the compressed version versus the non um, or with the compressed version versus the temporary folder so what I'm gonna do is you guys can kind of see right here um, I'm in that temporary folder and if you guys can see that I have a part here now when you guys have everything closed down there should be no part in here at all so let me just kind of slide this over. I'm going to open up this temporary or this uh, with the temporary folder here. And now if I properly close it down and drag this back over, you'll see that that job automatically disappeared now. So anytime that you guys are working on a CAM project, let me just slide that out of the way for a second. I'll open up that same part. I'll slide this over, you'll see that it, it's storing it in the temporary folder. So what's going on behind the scenes is everything that you guys are working on right here is being saved to the temporary folder. And this is to eliminate any lag in servers or if you guys are VPNN, um, there's no saving calculation lag whatsoever. Now, what happens is when we close out of the solid cam file, what it does is it takes that PRT file in your folder and it zips it up and it saves it in the location that you spe you specified right when you first started the project. So um, I'll just sh take that out of the way for a second, close that down and bring this back and we can see the files and they're gone now. So like I said, this, this area should be completely cleared out um, if you don't have a part file open, but um, I kind of went on a little long today for the, the tip of the day, but just kind of want to show you guys kind of how that temporary file works and how the, the process works behind it. And um, let me know if you guys have any questions on this or if we need uh, more details on how the, the SolidGram temporary file works. So thanks guys. Um, we'll talk to you guys tomorrow with your KevCam tip of the day. Bye-bye.